Well, Coldwater is looking to make its six straight appearances in the final game. Last week in the win over Liberty Benton, Brody Hoyne added two more records to his name, becoming the Cavs' all-time leading rusher and the program's leading career rushing TDs leader. Cavs taking on Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy and the Eagles are undefeated. You can see this game tomorrow night at 8 on WOSN. Cavs taking the turf at Alexander Stadium in Piqua. Trying to get to the shoe like those Flyers. First possession of the game for Coldwater. Brody Hoyne, the quarterback keeper. This is hashtag Brody being Brody as I saw on Twitter all night. Cuts to the far side, making defenders miss 54 yards before he's tripped up inside the 20 yard line. Later in the drive, the give is to Chris Post. And he rumbles his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Coldwater with an early 7-0 advantage. After a penalty, Eagles lining up a 52-yard field goal. And Josh Eckert splits the uprights. That would have been good from 60. What a kick by the senior. It's still 7-3 Cavs. Hoyne takes the snap. Rolls to his left. Finds Aaron Harlemert over the middle. He'll do the rest. 37 yards to the house. Coldwater goes up 14-3 in the second quarter. Now the Coldwater defense. Johnny Noyan fumbles the snap for the Eagles. C.J. Seibert pounces on it. Cavs take over. The senior making plays all postseason long. Now Hoyne back to pass, and he airs it out. Deep for Derek Toby. Great catch by Toby inside the CHCA 30. First down, Coldwater. And it's Hoyne calling his own number. Slips a couple of defenders. Jukes pass more. He makes it look so easy. Into the end zone, 15-yard touchdown. He had two scores on the ground. Two more through the air. Coldwater cruises 34-3. They'll be at the shoe on Saturday, and they'll take on Canton Central Catholic.